Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is David. Those in the back seat are Rupert and May, and we are part time solo RVers learning the RV lifestyle one campground at a time. In the last video, we were still up in Blue Ridge, uh, Georgia. Well, as you can tell, I'm driving because our time in Blue Ridge is up and we are heading back to Tampa. Right now, we are 21 miles from our stop where we're going to be spending the night. It's about halfway between Blue Ridge and Tampa, and it's a place called Cordell, Georgia. And we are staying at the RV Loves Campground. So I'm going to show you guys all around this Loves RV Campground. Show you what amenities they have, what the sites look like, and be sure to stick around to the end so you find out how much it cost me. In two miles, take exit 102 for Georgia 257 toward Cordell, Hawkinsville. I'm going 75 south, and it's exit 102 is the RV Loves. And there's a little sign right here. Camp and RV hookup at the Loves. Exit 102 southbound on I-75. And here we are. Not really quite sure what I'm supposed to do, but I see a little kiosk here, so let's go take a look at that. What? Alright, so we're gonna do this on my phone. It's a little keypad that you need to enter um, the park and it comes in your email. And then here's the little kiosk that did not work for me, but it's pretty much all done online. There's our site right there. A nice, easy pull through. So the registration kiosk <laughs> was actually broken. It said that um, I walked up to it and hit the little check-in thing and it said I was checked in and then it went to a web page that said that was blocked by my administrator. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Anywho, we are set up, the air is going. It was 98 degrees in here when I opened it up so the air's got a lot of catching up to do. I went over to the Love's gas station and filled the truck up, so I'm ready for tomorrow. But let's go take a look at this campsite. So that's the entrance right over there. The gate opens and you come through. You get a gate code in your email. And then I got site 37 right on the end. It's a long level concrete pad and we've got water, sewer, which I haven't hooked up yet. And then the pedestal is 30, 50, 20 amp up there, and your breakers are actually up on the top there. This is a marine pedestal, it looks like. Oh, yep, marina power and lighting. Nobody next door, but there I am. All set up for the night. I can, I can already hear a train in the distance. That should be fun. And there's a fence over here that kind of is blocking the sound from the trucks. We'll see what it's like, obviously, tonight when all the truckers come in. But, you know, it's a gas station. It's a, you know, commercial gas station. It goes all the way down. These are all pull-throughs. And then over there are uh, back ends. I gotta take a shower. I'm a hot, sweaty mess. And then we'll walk around. There's a dog park over here. I'm gonna let Rupert and May run around for a little bit but it's just way too hot out here right now. So, oh, and they have a pickleball court too, right there, huh? All right, be back in a little bit. Let's go see what they've got here. Sorry if it's a little windy, but it looks like that is a little picnic shelter with a gas grill. They've got pickleball courts. I really want to learn how to play that. It looks like fun. 
Here's another one. Uh, I don't know. Let's go see if there's propane in it or if you have to supply your own. Those are really nice. Weber, too. And there is a propane tank underneath there. Nice wooded area in the back here. And they have a splash pad. Look at how cool that is. Oh. These back end sites actually have a little uh, fire pit on them. That's pretty cool. Here's your entrance right there. You can walk over to the loves by just going out right um, there to the left. This is what we wanted, the doggy park. The grounds are well maintained as well. I mean, if this wasn't at a gas station, this would be an awesome campground just by itself. Yay! Good boy! You finally got the ball! Okay, that's enough of the dog park because the bugs here are absolutely horrendous. These like little gnats or something just keep... Ugh. That and the fact that it's about 9,000 degrees here too. But it is pretty neat that they have a dog park there for large and small dogs. One side is for the small dogs, one side is for the large dogs. Oh, oh my god, these bugs! We're gonna try and do a quick tour of this place um, real fast before these bugs kill me. All right, so these are the back end sites here. Same setup, you got your power pedestal, you got your water, and sewer. And every single one of them have sewer. Pretty long backup sites. So all of these guys here, right next to the uh, entrance, and all down there are all back in. You got some over here. There's the train in the background that no doubt I'm gonna have to listen to in the middle of the night. And then here is like a little communal fire pit. A little fire pit here. These guys have uh, little picnic tables at certain ones. Or a little picnic shelter, I guess I should say. All back ends. All the pull throughs. see some street lights. Be curious to see how bright it is at night. So it looks like you get a picnic table or a picnic shelter. There's a trash bin there and there's one at the other end by my site. Two straight little back ends there. That's where you exit and it takes you out the same exit that the truckers go when they're leaving the Love's truck stop. Go around the loop. Oh my god these bugs. Let me just tell you these bugs are absolutely horrible here. These little tiny gnats. I gotta hurry up and get back in the front side. Looks like we may have a storm a brew in here. It was very easy. It's right off of the interstate. You know, just like going to a normal uh, truck stop. I think this is just a great idea that Loves does this. They can make a mint off of this if they keep going. But yeah, I like it. All right, time for some dinner. A quick update here. It's um, 9.26, so let me take you outside. So you can see how lit up the park is. They have a lot of lights uh, around here, so I think that's good. You're not just sitting in a dark parking lot, but let's go outside and take a look. This is right outside my site, and you can see it's, you know, they've got lights everywhere here. So let's walk this way. There's somebody working on their camper two sites over from me, so we'll go this way. But you can see all the lights. And so far, the noise of the trucks is Pretty quiet. So, I don't think I'll have a problem sleeping tonight, especially with the fan going and the air conditioner kicking on and off. I think we'll be okay. Good morning. <coughs> Good morning. Last night was a success. Um, noise level, it wasn't that bad. It, um, between the air conditioner and the fan that I have in the bedroom, um, I could just here like some of the trucks rumbling but it didn't bother me at all didn't hear the train surprisingly heard the train the entire time that we were here you know yesterday during the day but didn't hear it once at night so that's good and somebody pulled into the spot right next to me and i didn't hear them at all so so yeah rv stop at loves definitely put it on your list of potential overnight spots and i mean technically i guess you could 
stay here longer if you really want it to but i will keep these guys in the back of my mind but right now coffee then we gotta pack up and hit the road we got like four hours today. Well, we are all hitched up here at the RV stop at Love's in Cordell, Georgia. What did I think? I think more truck stops should do something like this. This was awesome for an overnighter. It wasn't loud or anything like that. It's easy to get into. It's easy to get out of. And it's definitely something that you should put on your list of possible places to stay for overnighters. All right, so now for the grand total of what did it cost me? It cost me $57. And before you start going, oh my God, $57, it is a full, all the sites are full hookup. So 30, 50, 20 amp with water and sewer. You can use the showers here and the laundry facilities. I did not, but I think I actually booked it wrong. Um, because out of the base price is, sorry, I'm looking at my, my uh, phone here where I have my receipt. The base price for the site was $47. There was a pet fee of $3. Tax, uh, Georgia sales tax was in there. And there was a $3 booking fee. And there was sales tax on top of the booking fee. And I think I may have booked this wrong. I was just looking at the pedestal and I think I just Googled um, RV, RV Park at Love's or something like that. I can't remember exactly. And I don't think it was actually the Love's site. I think it was a third party site. On the pedestal here, they actually had the URL. I'll, um, I can't remember it right now, but I'll put it right here up on the screen now. Um, so you may not have the booking fee if you actually go through the Love's website, but I will double check that when I get home and then put a little follow up after this clip. All right, so I did check into the website and actually I was correct. That website that I put up on the screen, the lovesrvstops.com, actually redirects you to another site, which is the one that I thought was the third party site. So. It was the correct site, so unfortunately you are going to have the booking fee and the pet fees if you do have uh, pets with you. Again, it didn't change my opinion. I would definitely stay there again. Now let's finish the video. So I think that's going to do it for this video. We're hitched up, like I just said. Um, we've got about a four-hour drive back to the house in Tampa. I hope you guys like the RV stop here at Love's. This is, like I said, you should definitely check this out when you need an overnighter. If you like this video, go ahead and boop that like button. It does help me out. Leave me a comment below. Is this some place that you think you would uh, stay at? I, I could see myself doing this again. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Become a member of the Travel Paws RV Pack. We would love to have you guys with us. Our six week journey is come to an end. Next stop is the house where my grass is like seven feet tall. So this should be fun. <laughs> anyway, I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you guys along for the ride. So until the next video, safe travels. I'll see you next time.